Deep below the warm tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean lies a world few could ever imagine. A place of near-frozen silence, where darkness swallows everything and the weight of the water above crushes with unimaginable force. For centuries, it was believed that no living thing could survive here. The pressure is so extreme, it should tear apart the very cells that make up life. Bones and shells would dissolve into nothing. The essential processes that keep organisms alive would simply stop. And yet, in 1960, something extraordinary happened. At the very bottom of this abyss, a living creature was seen. Life, against all odds, had found a way. Even more astonishing, it had not merely survived, but adapted to this realm, existing in forms found nowhere else on Earth. Much of what we know about this hidden place comes from broken glimpses, specimens dragged up by probes, or unfortunate creatures pulled from the depths in fishing nets. By the time they reach the surface, they are often crushed, distorted, or destroyed altogether. Their true nature remains a mystery, half hidden in the shadows of the deep. The ocean floor is Earth's final frontier, vast and uncharted, and at its heart lies the most mysterious chasm of all, the Mariana Trench. I'm Mike, and this is Lumora. Join me as we descend into the deepest place on Earth, where sunlight never shines, pressure defies imagination, and life itself bends the rules of existence. Our journey into the unknown began more than a century ago with the voyage of the HMS Challenger in the 1870s. This British vessel was tasked with something no one had attempted before, the first scientific mapping of the ocean floor. For four relentless years, its crew lowered heavy lead weights attached to ropes, plunging them into the deep, then hauling them back, meter after meter, through searing tropical heat and icy polar storms. Most of what they found was unremarkable. A flat, muddy seabed lying three to four kilometers beneath the surface. But one day, far from any shore, the ocean revealed something extraordinary. As the rope slid down into the depths, the crew waited for the familiar jolt of the weight striking bottom. It never came. Three kilometers, four, five, and still it sank, vanishing into the black. With each coil of rope added, tension gripped the ship. Sailors of that era believed in sea monsters, vast creatures said to rise from the abyss and drag ships beneath the waves. Superstition mixed with fear as the rope kept ascending, as if the sea itself held no end. Finally, more than eight kilometers down, the weight struck bottom. They had stumbled upon the Mariana Trench, the deepest scar in Earth's surface. Had they sailed slightly farther west, they would have discovered its very heart, the Challenger Deep, plunging nearly 11 kilometers down, a chasm so vast it could swallow Mount Everest and still have room to spare. The Mariana Trench is not a random crack in the seafloor. It is the product of Earth's restless geology our planet's outer shell is divided into colossal slabs of rock called tectonic plates, drifting slowly atop a sea of molten magma. These plates constantly collide, pull apart and grind against one another, reshaping the face of the Earth over millions of years. At the western edge of the Pacific, the mighty Pacific Plate pushes westward and meets the smaller Philippine Plate but instead of stopping, the denser Pacific plate is forced downward, sinking beneath its lighter neighbor in a process called subduction. Imagine a conveyor belt of ancient ocean crust sliding into the depths, 
vanishing back into the fiery mantle that once created it. This slow but relentless movement has carved a colossal scar into the ocean floor, the Mariana Trench, stretching more than 2,500 kilometers long and nearly 70 kilometers wide. It curves like a vast arc across the Western Pacific. At its deepest point, the Challenger Deep plunges nearly 11 kilometers below the waves, making it the lowest point on Earth's surface. But the trench is not an isolated feature. It is part of the infamous Ring of Fire, a chain of subduction zones and volcanoes that circle the Pacific Ocean. 90% of the world's earthquakes and countless eruptions are born along this ring. The Mariana Trench is both a graveyard where old ocean floor is consumed and a birthplace, fueling the forces that make Earth a living, dynamic world. Far below the waves, the Mariana Trench is not silent emptiness. It is alive with extraordinary geology, shaped by unimaginable forces. Here, mud volcanoes rise like giants from the seafloor, some stretching over 50 kilometers wide. Instead of glowing lava, they pour out thick mud and hydrogen, transforming the abyss into a landscape that feels almost alien. Elsewhere, strange craters bubble with merely pure carbon dioxide. Under normal conditions, carbon dioxide escapes as a gas, but at these crushing depths, it emerges as a liquid, flowing eerily through the dark. Perhaps most surreal of all, scientists have found a pool of molten sulfur, a fiery liquid found nowhere else on Earth, except, curiously, on one of Jupiter's moons. It is as if the trench is a portal, connecting the secrets of our planet to the mysteries of distant worlds. Among these wonders, towering hydrothermal vents spew superheated water rich with minerals. In the eternal night, where no sunlight can reach, these vents provide the raw energy that sustains life. Tiny microbes use chemical reactions instead of sunlight to survive, a process called chemosynthesis. From them, entire ecosystems emerge, fragile yet resilient, proof that life does not always need the sun to endure. The trench is a paradox, a place where Earth destroys itself as old crust is dragged into the mantle, and yet also a place of creation where life finds unexpected footholds. These geological marvels are not just curiosities, they may hold answers to one of humanity's oldest questions, how life first began on our planet. Here, in the silence of crushing pressure and eternal darkness, nature whispers of beginnings as well as endings. The Mariana Trench is a reminder that even in the most hostile corners of the earth, the spark of life can still find a way. Reaching the bottom of the Mariana Trench is one of the greatest challenges in human exploration. The pressure at its deepest point is over a thousand times greater than at the surface, powerful enough to crush steel and obliterate most machines. Even the world's most advanced submarines, built for military dominance, cannot descend beyond 1,500 meters barely a fraction of the Challenger Deep. To go further requires technology designed to withstand forces unlike anything else on Earth. In 1960, Don Walsh of the US Navy and Swiss explorer Jacques Picard accomplished the unthinkable. Aboard the Bathyscaphe Trieste, a vessel built around a small steel sphere suspended beneath a buoyant tank, they began their descent. For nearly five hours, they drifted downward into the black. At around nine kilometers, a loud crack shook the vessel. A window block had fractured under the crushing weight. Yet they pressed on, determined to reach the bottom. Finally, after hours of descent, they touched the floor of the Challenger Deep, becoming the first humans to see the world's lowest point. 
they stayed only 20 minutes before beginning the long journey back. What they achieved was so dangerous that no one attempted it again for more than 50 years. To journey into the Mariana Trench is to pass through layers of the ocean that feel like different worlds. At the surface lies the epipelagic zone, drenched in sunlight. Here, tiny phytoplankton harness the sun's energy, producing half of Earth's oxygen and forming the base of a food chain that sustains everything from small fish to mighty whales. But just a few hundred meters down, the light begins to fade. This is the twilight zone, a dusky realm stretching to a thousand meters where photosynthesis can no longer reach. Life here adapts in astonishing ways. Small fish, such as the bristlemouth, exist in such staggering numbers that they may be the most abundant vertebrates on the planet. Many species glow with bioluminescence, creating sparks of light in the darkness to confuse predators, attract mates, or lure prey. Descending deeper, we enter the midnight zone, a place of eternal blackness and relentless pressure. Here swim creatures that seem born from nightmares, the anglerfish, with its glowing lure dangling before a mouthful of teeth, the barrelifish, its transparent skull revealing eyes that point upward through the gloom, and the elusive giant squid, with unblinking eyes the size of plates adapted to see in the void. This is also the realm of deep sea gigantism, where creatures grow larger and live longer, shaped by scarcity and survival. Finally, beyond six kilometers, lies the Hadal Zone, the realm of trenches. Here, fragile yet extraordinary creatures endure. The Mariana snailfish, translucent and delicate, is the deepest known fish. Giant amphipods scuttle across the seabed, grotesque in their size compared to their shallow cousins. Even stranger are the xenophyophores, single-celled organisms as large as a football, defying the limits of biology. In these depths, life bends the rules of existence. Each flicker of movement is a miracle, proof that survival is possible, even under the crushing weight of Earth's most hostile frontier. For all we have seen, the Mariana Trench remains a realm of unanswered questions. Fewer than 400 species have been identified in the Hadal Zone, a startlingly small number when compared to the thousands found in even a single freshwater lake. What else might lurk in the darkness? beyond the fragile reach of our cameras and probes? We simply do not know. Our attempts to study these depths have been crude, often lowering bait into the abyss and watching what comes to feed. Such glimpses are far from the full truth. The trench is larger than Australia, yet our understanding of it could fit into a thimble. Each descent leaves us with more questions than answers. And already, humanity's shadow has reached even here. Scientists have discovered traces of plastic fibers and industrial chemicals at the very bottom of the trench, woven into the bodies of creatures that live in total darkness. Even in this untouched wilderness, our pollution has found a way. But the trench is more than a warning its unique life forms may hold secrets for medicine, technology, and the story of life itself. The question is whether we will learn from it or destroy its mysteries before we ever understand them. The Mariana Trench is not just the deepest cut in Earth's crust. It is a symbol of our planet's extremes. In its crushing silence, we see proof that life can endure in places where it should not exist. Creatures glow with their own light. Ecosystems thrive without the sun, and the rules of biology are rewritten in the dark. At the same time, the trench reminds us of our fragility. Even here, 
nearly 11 kilometers below the surface, traces of our waste are found. No corner of Earth remains untouched by human hands. We have climbed the highest mountains and walked on the moon, yet our oceans remain largely a mystery. More than half the planet lies beneath these waves, unexplored and waiting. Perhaps the greatest frontier is not out in the stars, but down here in the cold, crushing depths of our own world. The trench teaches us two truths. Life is more resilient than we ever imagined, and yet it is more vulnerable than we often believe. I'm Mike, and this is Lumora. Thank you for joining me in this descent into the deepest place on Earth. Stay with us, and together, we will continue uncovering the hidden wonders of our planet and beyond.